Hello and welcome. As you can see here, we're playing a uh, continuing fighting game mode. So I was actually wrong. At the end of which one was it? Samurai Showdown Five? No, I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, at the, at the end of the previous fighting game, I, th I mentioned I thought I was done with the two D fighters for the most part, except for the for, uh, certain ones. But I was wrong. I totally forgot we have one miss fall twenty ninety seven. Now this is a game that has a lot of fondness for uh for older player uh, your older uh players because it's basically you know uh, like a well it's basically Street Fighter of mechs. and it's it's a revamped version of a uh, demo uh, you know a, a freeware demo game from the mid or late early nineties called One Must Fall which was a Street Fighter knockoff. And it's actually an incredibly cool game. It's got a, a lot of depth to it. it. You know, it's got a story mode as well as a, um, you know, a tournament mode, which is really the heart of the game. So not, there's not really much to say. So let's we'll go right into it. Now, this is going to be an interesting uh, playthrough. We're not explaining it when we get in. I think you can put the story info in here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh. Okay, I need to adjust the speed. Hold on. Because it is all over the place. This should help. Well. There we go. I have no idea why it's so, you know, finicky like that. And it's also really loud, so let me turn it down. Okay, it should be a bit better. I'll have to change it. Let me see if I can... There we go. All right, that's better now. There we go. I don't know why it's so, you know, finicky on one night. It wants to scroll one page at a time. So basically, this is you know the manual and everything, and I don't think it, it, I don't think it actually shows the actual story of the game. Yeah, it's not gonna show what we need info. All right, so basically the story is, you know, over almost a hundred years in the future, it's it's um, you got the Hars, which are the uh, human-assisted robots, and they're he they're tall, and they're basically you know, you know, battle mix. Let me see if I can pull up the story here. It'd be easier to find it than try to you know, you know rattle it off. Let's see. Okay, so the story is it's, it's a dystopian cyberpunk future in 2097 where multinational corporations such as the war, the war aeronautics and robotics, you know, control governments across half the sorts and yeah, yeah, typical stuff there. So the, the campaign story is basically to generate press buzz for the new combat robots. There's a, you know, just in case one company decides to take another to war. It's just, you know, just, uh, designed to just, you know, generate press buzz for them, as well as to determine which of the ten pilots in the game are going to become the leading representative in colonizing Ganymede, the moon, a moon around Jupiter. So between backstory as well as banter and an ending text, you learn a lot about the story. And each of them had their own sort, sort of goals towards it, okay? So it's kind of weird. You know, if you, you know, how they set it up here. So tournament mode is different. It's supposed to take place two uh, two uh, 
years after the, the uh, single player mode. And you basically you're just you know it's pretty much it's pretty straightforward. You're just looking to get a championship wins. And it's after it takes place after the, the tournament. Not sorry, the, yeah, after the campaign tournament, because hard combat hard combat at that point is established as a sport. So, and it's pretty straightforward. You can also do stuff like you know in this game, you can you know, fatalities are in it, and they're called destruction and scrap metal. Well, scrap moves rather. Destruction is a stronger one. Right now, this is going to be a tool assisted one because some of these moves are actually incredibly hard to do. Are, are, are actually incredibly inconsistent because of the uh, net code, I think. So for this, for the uh, finishing moves, it will. Uh, you know, I will go in. I will pretty, pretty much be pressing one button in order to show them off. So let's just start off the uh, campaign. Uh, I don't know. No. There's a canonical winner because it doesn't actually say. However, some of these guys do show up in the tournament, so it's pretty, pretty much safe to assume all of these guys survive. None of them die. Hmm. <clears throat> so the Katana is uh, easily my favorite robot to use in this. And sorry, except to one round victories as well. And also, we're playing on the uh, veteran set setting, which is the minimum required in order to see the ending. Now, the katana can really do some cheesy shit. You know, if you get him in the corner like this. Ooh, not good. All right, now it's doing scrap metal. When you do the move again, you get the destruction. So destruction is pretty straightforward. You're just blowing shit the fuck up, and it, the animation changes depending on which um, robot you're using. And after every fight, you get the announcer giving a review of your of your uh, battle. The better you do, the, the more glowing and positive he is of you. And in tournament mode, this is actually relevant because um, the less damage you take, the more profit you make, and the more damage you take, the less you get. And it's got a little mini replay in because it'll you know to pick a random moment to uh, you know you know pick you know pick as your highlight. And it does have a natural uh, recording function in it. Ready. Bye. Let me adjust the speed because now it's too slow. Whoa! Ooh! Get stomped! Ah, crap! We got rolled. I think it, you know because he continues. Yeah. Well, screw it. Okay, so you do get to keep going. All right, cool. Ready, fight. So you gotta beat the ten opponents, then you get the uh, campaign only boss. Ooh, you lose. I was not expecting that. Whoa! So something interesting is that there's hazards in the stage. As you know, hazards in the game, as you can see here, some of the stages have them. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> We're getting straight, get, straight up get beamed here by this guy. Ready? Bye. Bye. Whoa! 
I am kind of confused. Alright. So, we got, still got a bunch more to go. I was sure he went down. Some of these are actually pretty tough. Ah, we got hit by the hazard. So special moves are actually pretty strong in this. Ready. Bye. So fun fact, Raven is uh the bought the uh champion of the North American Open, which is one of the tournaments. So it's kinda of appropriate he's a you know raid boss here. It could just be a stage, it's really annoying. Ready? Bye. Mm. So this is the easier to do katana cheese when you have a maxed out pilot. Unlike uh, some of these uh, default ones. The crystal's supposed to be actually really good for uh, using Ready. in katana with. And unfortunately, you cannot change your uh, fighter once he's selected. There we go. Bye bye. So she's one of the, twi the twins mentioned in the uh, manual, alongside Christian. Now this is the power point stage. If you knock them over there, they actually take damage. Yeah, see right there. <laughs> Boom. So some of these are actually really cool for the time. Ready. Bye. You know, it looks like early PlayStation graphics, doesn't it? If I remember correctly, this is a title from 94. I'll check after this next fight. So on higher difficulty levels, if you do certain combos, you can actually get a secret opponent in the tournament, not the tournament mode, but uh, this one. There are some, uh, a few, a lot more secret opponents in the tournament mode. Ready, fight. Yeah, I can be a bit abusable, unfortunately. Ready. Bye. Bye. Woo. Ah, damn. 
Lost, okay. So pirates can be annoying. Ready. He's tough. Ready? Bye. <laughs> oh, the cheese. Got him. Some of these are a lot easier to abuse than the others. And this will be our brother. Ready? Bye. Also, something interesting to note is the uh, dialogue will change. You know, the banter will change in tournament mode. And here's the final boss. This budget bison looking son of a bitch. Ready. So Nova is something you can actually get in the uh, tournament mode. It's also got a, it's a you know it's, it's a boss mech, and you know it's also expensive. It's got. It's supposed to be the ultimate, uh, you know, war, your know, horror robot. That thing just fucking laugh? I don't merit being able to do that. You lose. Jesus, it did laugh. It actually has voice la laughing.
Ready. Fight. Wow. He's kind of filter in my ass. Damn, the yeah, announcer's just straight up beating the shit out of me. Ready. Bye. Bye. Damn, that's done. Ready, fight. So yeah, he's kind of a raid boss. <laughs> God! Seriously, this guy's just so goddamn BM! Ready. Bye. Got him! So yeah, I guess uh, Mercury, you cannot perform a destruction on him, he, he blows himself up. And that's the Nova's head. So the, the, the way these things work is, work is, is basically you're remote controlling the, the um, robots, hence why it says you're waking in your own body. Kind of like, I guess, the way to put it is like, like a uh, avatar. So now we control the uh, moon. But apparently something is going wrong. Ah, <laughs> damn! So we, we threw uh, Kreesak's body into the garbage bin, apparently. Or somebody else did. And apparently he had a notice prepared when he won the fight. <laughs> yeah, right. So here is the big, the, the big twist about Nova. It's meant to take a human brain and put it inside a robotic body. And he had, he had plans. And conveniently enough, the Nova Project's records were destroyed. Hmm. And in other news. Get the ending. Yeah, this little thing here will change depending on uh, who your uh, your fighter was. And also, um, you know, d despite being a Christian sister, they actually have different endings. So Nova was meant to, to keep a human brain alive as well as. Yeah, see, it explains here. So his, her father was, you know, was killed because Kreesak was pulling some you know, fast one. He was trying to make a cyborg army. So he hired, hired in a, uh, 
you know, a mercenary army. Or at least some must just some mercenaries. Now we have control of Ganymede. So that's the um, single, yeah, arcade mode. Now we we'll be able, I think we'll be able to get through the uh, tournament mode pretty quickly because we are using a maxed out character. You know, it's meant to. Just cut down a lot on the grinding time and all that, so let's go to the arcade. Yeah, the, the arcade. It's already been preset, and you know, each one tells you your uh, special moves and such. Now, this is maxed out, and it's basically New Game Plus. Now, you can. Now, something to note is your power, agility, and endurance are universal. They will always be there regardless of what uh, ro robot you're using. And you can upgrade them here. And something to note about the um, robot is it will actually ch up, it'll actually change to, to, to reflect the weapons. Like if you have a pyro, it will say you know flame power. If you have, if you don't have a special weapon on there like the katana, it'll just say arm power or something like that. You can also change your robot colors. Max out. They're pretty pricey, but they also get you know, something back nicely. You can also use the uh, sim to get you know, to practice against uh, your upcoming opponents or any in the tournament. As you can see, a lot of these are you know one pilots from the uh, single player. Now there are registration fees for each one. You start off uh, you meant to start off going to the North American Open because. Um, you know, you start off with two two million credits, and the the registration fee is one point five. There are four tournaments by default. You can, uh, however, make a uh, custom tournaments, and I did not make. I did not decide. Yeah, I decided not to install them. It may be a bonus thing, however. And this is the big, the big boys league. Ten million credits just to, you know, in, you know, get in. But the winnings are totally worth it. The funny thing is about this: you do not need to have the credits. However, you can, you know, you can register for a tournament, but you run the risk of having skills, you know, having your uh, robot degrade. So it's best to just to wait to ha until you have enough in order to get win. Anyway, so not, not much else to say. Now, this is why I was saying you know, a few minutes ago, the banter is different because now you're you're playing a custom character who has no special dialogue otherwise. Ready, fight. Now, by de I think uh, by default, uh, all fights in uh, the tournament mode are one round. Now your score determines how much you get per fight. And as you can see here, we got two million. We got more than the registration fee right off the bat. So cool, huh? Now we're going to Stefan. Ready? Jesus Christ, went right through him. So you get a huge bonus for for perfect. Now, he, you know, his commentary would be more positive the, the better you do and negative the, the worse you do.
Well, this guy's got an attitude problem. Ready? Fight. Now, since this is a maxed out character, it'll be different early on. You know, these guys will be easy to roll because, by default, the uh, North American and the Katsuhai are meant to be the easy tournaments. And you, you can, um, you know, grind them out in order to build up your character. And tell you the truth, I don't actually remember which, uh, what the best uh, priority for um, stats is. I think it's better, you know, for some it's better to go over a power and uh, the weapon, you know, the, pun the melee, you know, the punch one. And they were down in the uh, robots will rotate out. Now, see, this is what I was talking about. Look, okay, you can see arm and you know, power, and then you see flame power. You get see what uh, special moves these guys have, and some are quicker than the others. Now, in order to get special characters to show up, you have to um, do certain meet certain criteria for the special character to show up in, um, you know, the uh, North American. You have to do a destruction on number two challenger, and I believe it's always uh, going to be Crystal. I'm not actually sure. Ready. But it's best to just do destructions anyway. Extra money. <laughs> his, his dialogue will change every now and then. Ready? So once we get to the War Invitational in the uh, World Championship, this should be a much more even fight. Ready? Fight. You win. Hit <laughs> boom. Yep, there it is. So now we got an unranked challenger fight. So you have to uh, be on a certain difficulty level minimum in order to meet some of these uh, challengers. Hell yeah, let's fight. Looking like Lee Sin. Ready? Fight. fight. Yeah, punk. So, beating some of these unranked challengers will give you uh, enhancements for your robot. Yeah, see, there it is. So, let me see what he gives. Uh, hold on just a moment. Let's see. Steel Claw. He gives you the first hidden upgrade for any uh, horror you have. So I'm not actually sure what the uh, hidden upgrade for uh, Katana was. Oh wow, the Nova's already available. 
So I think the rotation is based on whatever you have available. Now something to note is that the Nova cannot have any uh, uh, upgrades. In, in, in that uh, it cannot have any up uh, enhancement upgrades. Any other robot is fine. So let me see what Steel Clock is. Okay, so all robots won, and I'm not sure. Hmm, it's not listing yet. Alright, hold on, just a moment, please. Yeah, I'm honestly can't tell us. I don't think it's actually listed properly, so I think it's just a special move bonus for the katana. Anyway, let's keep moving. So, you know, in order to do the destruction move, you have to do a... Well, first you have to do a scrap move, which is basically what, what, which is what we were doing running after them. Then you have to do the destruction move while, while that was playing out. Okay, so now we do the destruction move on Crystal and we'll get a, a new challenger. Ready? Fight. Now, something interesting to note is... Uh, you know, the uh, tournaments will always have their um, their uh, you know, the uh, combat combatants hard set to their uh, robot for that tournament. So Crystal will always be in a Jaguar in the uh, you know in this one, but in, in a later later tournament she'll be in a different robot. Yep, here we go. Ah, so we got one of the Easter egg ones. This is Jazzy Jackrabbit from the from the titular game. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's a it's a crossover, you know, Easter egg. Ready, fight. So uh, I think we should actually gotten the, um, the the one for Crystal instead. That's unusual. Let me see if I can figure out why. Oh, I get it now. I think it's because Jazz Jackrabbit overwrote overwrote um, the Crystal one. Uh, I think that's what's going on. That's unfortunate. Let me double check to be sure. Yeah, I think that was it. Unfortunate. All right, so we'll just keep, you know, continue on. And this is the only time that pyro, you know, the Raven is guaranteed to use a Pyros. Ready? Bye. Bye. And there he is. When you when you beat the last one in the uh, tournament, you get declared the new champion, and you get a, get a, the ending for the uh, for that tournament. There is no real story in the tournament mode other than just clearing the tournaments. And you, and according to the info on the One Must Fall wiki, you can have ten tournaments total. Some of these are uh, apparently highly rated.
and you can press the, the E button at the end of a tournament in order to replay the cinematic. So you can just repeat the North American Open, o open over and over. Now, in the shareware version, this was the only tournament you could actually do. However, this is a freeware version that was made freeware like, I don't know what, 17 years ago? It was a very long time ago. So we can play the entire thing with no hassle. Hmm, still claw, okay. So something interesting to note about the um, sim is that you can actually set up a two-player mode with uh, inside it using uh, any other characters available on the uh, save on the save disc. So let's go fuck some people up. This is definitely a pain in the ass, you know, stage. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. You know, the, the repair costs get more and more. I forget what, scale, what they scale off of. I think it's a tournament and maybe the upgrades amount. fight now. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Boom. Hmm, don't remember seeing that one before. Yeah, you know, that, that competitor. Holy shit, look at how many wins and losses there are. Makes you wonder how many matches per day are going on since uh, this became the you know, main thing. So the competitors will always be hard coded to their uh, robots, as I said. Also, wait, I forgot to sh comment about something. As, as you can see, their uh, power and such have. Shot the way to fuck up. I think, except for the North American Open, they actually scale to what your 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 pilot is. So if you want to get you know clears, you have to hold off on upgrading. So as you can see, there are some of these guys are pretty close to maxed out. So there's definitely a, a you know a, a difficulty increase. Ready. Bye.
Oh, right. we're an adequate Fine. challenge. Dude looks like he fell out of an 80s Gundam. Woo! He is not playing around. Explode. So let me look at the unranked challenges. Let's see. All right. So looking at the. Uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot. I think the reason why the um, power sets are so jacked up is because we're playing on the steel setting. And that's the best setting to get all of the uh, hidden challenges except for the ones for heavy metal. So that's probably why the power stats are so high up. Because I don't remember them being normally this high until you reach a world championship. Where they're all maxed out. Okay, so once we hit uh, rank 6, we should be able to get the uh, next uh, hidden challenger. Ready. Bye. Bye. There we go. Explode. Ready. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Damn, just try try to charge at me like a Raiden tackle. Got him. So we should see our uh, first of challengers shortly, I think. Ah, damn, I think we didn't get it. Let's see. Maybe we need to clear the next one in. Forfeit. Hmm. It's actually an interesting strategy if you know you're against somebody you can easily beat.
because he was tank could throw the first one, you know, to, to fight, then go back down and rank. Keep fighting the, the easy one. Man, those, you know, those punches are just crazy strong. Pow, pow. There we go. Let's fucking rock. Ready. Fight. Hey, <laughs> go boom. So we got a huge chunk of money for that one. Alright, okay, so our next one will be showing up at rank rank two. Easy money. Ready. I think Stefan is always in a Jaguar. You know, regardless of us, uh, you know, the tournament. <laughs> so honestly, the AI is still pretty abusable, like I said a few minutes ago. There we go. Another Unricked competitor. Cool. Hmm. Ready. Bye. Nice paint job.
Ooh, enough to fight. Explode. Sweet. So if you play only on the aluminum, you can never see the um, enhancements and everything. On iron or higher, you can. So she, she gives up, let's see, Katana 2. And I still don't know what the fuck these enhancements are. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so the first two enhancements will um, give an extra hit to Shadow Rising Blade. Okay. So that's what the, those things do. Okay. Now I don't know what the third one does. Katana gets three. Ready. Fight. Fight. Got that paint job. You get a monster hunter, you know, hunter, but a monster rancher flashback just looking at it. Hit fry. You Give me them ducats. Give me that money. Okay, so that's Katsuhai cleared. Off we go to the Warrior Invitational. Here we have, uh, you know, the same as before, I think, was it? I don't think we've had more than uh, 11 so far, and you can see they're almost all maxed out. Talk about an ominous looking portrait. Yeah, you see, you can see, uh, sorry, as you can see, he is maxed out fully. So he's going to be probably the toughest one here. Free money! <laughs> now I think the destruction bonus scales on difficulty. I'm not actually sure. Okay, so for a war invitation, let's see. Okay, you need to be on iron or steel to get the okay. Iron, alright, so max rank. We should see I uh, earns um, around f rank five, and oh, bunch, two at rank five. Okay, one for iron, one for steel. Hmm. And apparently, it's random for the other one. Ready. Bye. Bye.
Holy shit. So this is why I use the katana. It's so good. Got good bounce of speed and you know combo. And it's you know regarded by a lot of you know one must one must fall players as the best one. So I think the main reason why the North American Open is always weak, regardless of its difficulty, is not only because it's a shareware title, ooh, but because it gives, you, it gives players on higher difficulty levels an easy area to farm. So it keeps them from being stuck in a position where they cannot advance at all. Thorns can be annoying. Yeah, yeah. 
Ready? Fight. Fight. <laughs> Embarrassing. He died to that. There we go, another one. Okay, Eva Earlong. So this is the uh, another character from Jazz Jackrabbit. I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> That's kind of tough, huh? Watch this and see where Midway got the idea for Noob Sabat and his fuckery. <laughs> yeah, you Noob had some really fucked up, uh, you know, point, you know, moves. Ready. So Gargoyle is actually incredibly strong if you, you know, do air combat a lot. So Ninja, Ready. it's a rematch from Fine. the uh, Katsuhide. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this, 28 really? That is why Katana is so strong. Oh, we got Killian. Cool. Didn't we fight Bye. this guy earlier? Butt mash time! Damn, he's such kinda good, huh?
<laughs> Shocking. Alright, now we get, get Nikolai. Another tournament down. That's it for the Warrior Invitation, now we just head to the World Championship. As you can see, we have 27 others to take down. And a lot of them are different ones than we saw before. See, they are all maxed out. Except for a couple, apparently. So we are actually going to have a very tough fight now. And anyway, we'll continue in just a moment. Need to check the... Uh, what is coming up for uh, unranked challenges for the, for the uh, World Championship? Okay, so in War Championship, one is on two are on iron, another is on steel. Oh, three are I, oh actually a bunch are on iron. Okay. So a couple on steel. Wow, we can, okay. I think we match. See them all here. Okay, so the first one should be around. Hmm. Okay, it looks like the first one is around rank 14. Well, we gotta go deep in, so let's do it. Ready?
Vibing that music. This John Paul guy is still a prick. This crown's jumping around like you know, a fucking scorpion. Down, got him. No, it's okay. Fight. Probably should have been paying attention to, uh, you know, what they were equipped with. What is that? That was tough. But they're getting a lot tougher now. When you get over, eight, you know, millions per fight doesn't matter much.
Damn. Those shredders are actually kind of hard. They just keep flying at me. Look like little crackhead ninjas. Ready? Fight. Also, Jaguar, by the way, is a starter robot. So I keep, yeah, I forgot, forgot to say that. Yeah, it's also the mascot of the uh, title screen. Time for you to explode, buddy. Boom! Hmm. Ready. Fight. Man, I hate thorns. Ready, fight. fight. There we go. D didn't we just fight Milano? Hmm. Ready. Fight. fight. Hmm, I think she's still pissed Ready. off by getting whipped by repeatedly. Yeah, kind of busted as hell. I love it.
Ready. Fight. Fight. Get to the extra money. Ready. Fight. Fight. Guess the got scrapped at him, okay. Shame. Okay, rematch with Scarlet. Ready. Bye. Bye. Damn, so fast we couldn't even they, they couldn't even pop up the uh, you win button. That's nice. Okay, another rematch of Killian. Ready? Bye. Bye. Jesus. Can we raid boss all of a sudden? Come on. There we go. You win. Ah, I love doing de destructions on Electros. Just that shock effect. Oh, here we go. Eva, Eva, you're long again. Ready. Bye. Bye.
you do a destruction move on her, you get Jazz again, according to this guide. Go boom. Damn, he's pissed. <laughs> Okay, we're ranked 14. Jesus. Ready. Eva is pissed Bye. off. Or Eva. Yeah, whatever. Is again. Bye -bye. All right, let's go. You know, you can chain that, you know, the, 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 right, the shadow version of the Rising Slash. He's insane. You know, Katana's is just incredible. Mm -hmm. 
Damn, for a moment there, I thought I went down suddenly. It's been a while since I saw Raven. Ready. Fight. Fight. Quickly. Down he goes. It can only be one. Ready. Bye. I really hate good scene, scene. I really hate seeing some thorns. Oof, we're almost there. Oh, Angel. Alright. So, apparently Angel's gimmick is that she is not human, despite appearing to be human. Let's see, Angel... Okay. Max rank 10, 50% or more. And destruction. Hmm, she's actually a Ganymedian, okay. Ready, fight. fight. Road. What kind of name is that? Did we? Did we go get scared Fire. earlier? Fire. Fire.
Oh, here we go. Devin, De uh, Devin Show. Okay, so this is, a, uh, from my understanding, this is actually the uh, main antagonist of Jazz Jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't think I've ever actually seen this guy before. <laughs> what the hell are you? Looks like an evil version of, what was that character, Filbert from uh, Rocko's Martin Life? That's what it looks like, the evil version of the turtle character from there. Jesus Christ! Ready, fight. fight. Bow down. Okay, so we're rank eight. I think that's almost all of them except for the ones at the very highest. Gonna keep on vibing with that music. <laughs> oh, Red. that. Bye. I definitely do not like shredders. Those little bastards are fast. Jesus, six five. Ooh. Ready. Bye. Bye.
Ready. Fight. All right, let's beat this hair metal reject. Look at him. Tell me he doesn't belong in a hair metal band. Looking like Blonde Viego. It's flat. Okay, so I think we got another one coming right up. Yeah, once we, uh, we had to do destruction on Selena. Ready. Bye. Bye. Alright, that should give us a uh, yeah, fight. Iceman, so this is the avatar of the uh, game's creator, apparently. God <laughs> damn. Looks like Daniel Bryan without a beard. Or Gare in the younger years. Oh, great, he's in a Nova now, too. Oh, shit, that hurts. Getting flashbacks to Shiva and Goro. Okay, so you can't destroy, you can't do a destruct on um, Krasak, you know, Krasak's Nova, but you can do it on the uh, tournament one. Interesting. 
Oh, we got Bethany, who's, I think, the daughter of uh, the game's creator. Let me see. Secret opponent. She appears in War Invitational and World Championship. Okay. Hmm. Oh, dear God. Ready. Yeah, she's in a Nova. Go figure. That's one fast goddamn Nova. Final battle. Let me check over something. Okay, so the okay, you can get a bonus one for um, clearing, you know, clearing the world championship. All right. I think we've actually seen all the ones possible in the world championship, except for the uh, bonus one for world championship. Looks like it. So the number one is always going to be Ian Tavares, and he'll always be in a Nova. And I think I don't remember him being in a Nova last time around, but I played on the last time I did this. It was a little difficult, so I think I think except for North American Open, that the, the rosters do actually change for what robots they use. However, I think if you reset it, I don't. I think you can get different order depending on um, resetting the. Uh, Tournament, but like, you know, re-entering it. I mean, so now, I'm, you know, I'm not sure they actually are hard locked to, to Ross, you know, to their robots. All right, let's go. Ready. Not the first level I had to beat down today. Champion is a punk. Pyros give, give up a better fight, I think. Destroy. Total destruction. All right. Then we got Nikolai, who should be coming up right now. Yep, new champion. Championship breakfast. Yeah, come on, bitch. We'll, we'll beat you down. Ready. Fight. Still pretty bitter about not getting the championship, huh? Oh my god, he laughs like a crease act. Holy shit. You 
Oh, hey. Yep. Alright, so, hit the wrong button. And you can do Sims rematch. Otherwise, otherwise once you clear the world championship, there's really nothing else you can do except go for a different tournament. So it's interesting that they, that um, Raven is considered a two-time world champion, but because that means that uh, if it's uh, if this is a yearly tournament, that it has to have gone on at least two years, and the mechanics dialogue indicate suggests that it's actually been much longer to the point where he's in retirement, has been gone, gone into being a tech. So there's some weird um, you know, time gapping going on here. Anyway, that is it for uh, one must fall. Actually, wait, hold on. I think that may not be it. I do want to talk to... Talk about... Let's see. There was something I was going to show, but I forgot. Eh, I can't... I'm sure it's not important. Probably just, you know, showing off the uh, creation process. But, it, you know, it's whatever. Anyway, that is it for One Must Fall 2097. And see you next time. Not quite sure what's next on uh, Fighting Game Up, but it will, it'll be pretty soon. See you next time, and thanks for watching.